Okay, so this demo is going to go through the process of calculating 3D points in a one-point perspective uh, without using the grid, and basically just showing you how the process of calculating a 3D coordinate works in space. And so uh, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start out by drawing a horizon line. And then I'm going to draw my vanishing point. And then I'm going to create my measuring line, ground line. I'm going to say that he's this person is six units tall. And then I'm going to draw this across and create my ground line. Okay, so I'll go ahead and adjust this now. Well, I'm just going to zoom in and actually set this up. So go down one. And so you guys can actually see the unit of measure here. Copy that out of there. And then we're going to do the same thing across our ground line, right? And this is going to generate our picture plane where everything is actually in scale, okay? And so whatever your scale is, if you're using a half inch scale or a quarter scale, um, this is going to be where you can actually take measurements from your plan and your section, okay? This little tick marks will be handy, okay? And so again, this is going to go through the diagonal point method. And so what we're going to do here. So I'm, I have my vanishing point. I'm going to go ahead and just move that over here. So we have somewhere in the in the range of our view. And I'm going to start by striking some some guys here going out to our picture plane. All right. So these rays, what we've generated here is an infinite the infinite plane that goes all the way back to our vanishing point. So this is imagine uh, railroad tracks going back, and we're looking at this going into infinity. Okay. And so what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I need to cast my diagonal point. Okay, so I'll go ahead and just drop that over here. And then I'll strike that from there all the way across to that edge. Okay, and now we have all the instruments we need to do, calculate any 3D coordinate in the space. Now you can choose to build the grid out, um, but and I show you how to do that in another demo, so I'm not going to go into it at this point. Uh, but I am going to show you guys how to calculate 3D coordinates, okay? And so uh, 3D coordinate is an X, Y, and Z. And so you can use your plans and your sections to calculate the X, Y, and Z coordinate relative to wherever you're cutting the your section, essentially, for your picture plane, okay? And so this is a Cartesian coordinate system. We have the X and the Y going back towards infinity and the Z moving upwards, okay? So the first thing we want to do is if we want to calculate the distance over, we need to have a station point or an origin that everything is going to be measured from. And I'm going to use the origin point from where the diagonal line intersects with uh, this edge of our wall so we can measure from that wall. Okay. So if I wanted to draw a box that was six feet away from this edge here, we can go ahead and strike a line that goes two, four, six, and draw that back. Okay. So now that I have that six foot line going back to the infinite, I can go ahead and uh, measure that distance over now. Now I need to figure out the y coordinate, which is going back along this. So say my this I'm building a stair that's six feet over and eight feet back. So I'm going to go ahead and now I need to know where on this line that actually is going to land. In order to do that, I basically take this guy and we're going to draw a line and go two, four, six, eight. Project that back. And then where this intersection happens, we project that over using our t-square to this edge. Okay? And what that intersection gives us is a point that is 6 feet over and 8 feet back. Okay? Now if we need to calculate the z-coordinate, what we can do is we have our guy over here that we have our measuring line colliding with. So this, actually, this line that is on the horizon line here, and this triangle here forms an infinite plane going back to the horizon line that's exactly six feet tall. And so let's say our calculation point needs to be half a foot up. So if we're going to go over here, we come over and I'm going to go ahead and just do this so I can make sure I'm being precise here. And from the middle of that, that guy, I can go ahead and draw that over. Now to calculate the 3D coordinate, coordinate up, we're going to go using our T-square. Go all the way over where that line intersects with this, move up 
to where that line intersects with this and pull that over again. So you, again, you're using the T-square, you're using that to track that up, and now what we have is a point here that we can draw straight up, okay? And so this is how you calculate coordinate points. And now all of this construction we don't actually need anymore, okay? Now it's important to note that when you guys are actually building these one-point perspectives, you can only move in two directions, three directions, sorry. You can only go up and down, right, as like you see in here and you see right in here. You can go left and right, and you can go back to the vanishing point, okay? So if we were building a stair, you could start to draw that over. I'm going to go ahead and delete some of this extra geometry here so we can see some of this stuff as it appears. Again, so I'm only going in the horizontal. That's a really wide stair. And then again, once I have this line, this edge projection up, we can extend that over and get the edge of our guy here. All right, and I'm just going to go ahead and take some of this stuff and hide it so we don't see it. We don't need our diagonal line right now. So we hide this when we start to pull away our geometry. Say our, if we wanted our stair to be transparent here, we can start to see through that. And now we've created that block that goes out to infinity here. Okay. And so that's how you calculate three, 3D points in perspective. You start from the origin, move over, that'll give you the X. Then you can go over, connect that back to the diagonal line to get the Y. And then you pull those projections over once you have that coordinate over, pull that over to your measuring line and measure up using this plane. And you can project that back over to calculate the height at that point. And using this methodology, you can calculate any 3D point in the one point perspective.